Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn two string functions in Microsoft SQL Server. They are char index and pat index. Let's begin with char index. Char index. This function searches an expression for another expression and returns the starting position if found. For the char index function, you need to provide two arguments. They are expression to find and expression to search. The third argument that is the start location is an optional one. Let's look at some of the examples to understand it much better. In the example here, we are providing two arguments, food and dog food. The first argument is the expression to find and the second argument is the expression to search. When you run this expression, you get the starting position of the first expression in the second expression. So in this query, the starting position of food in dog food is 5 including the space. So when you run this query, you get the result as 5. Let's look at another example. In the first example here, we are providing two arguments to the char index function. The first argument is the expression to find and the second argument is the expression to search. When you run this query, the SQL server finds the first occurrence of the first expression in the second expression and the first occurrence of this expression would be 1. And in the second example, we are also providing the starting location to search for the second expression. When you run this query, the SQL server starts its search from the 10th position and continues to search. So the position of the first expression starting from 10th position would be different from the first example. When you run this query, the first position starting from 10th position would be 17. These are some of the examples for char index function. Let us now discuss the pat index function. Pat index function. This function returns the starting position of the first occurrence of a pattern in a specified expression. For the pat index, you specify two arguments. First one is the pattern you want to search and the second one is the expression you want to search the pattern. You can also use the wildcard characters like percentile and underscore to search the pattern in the pat index function. Let's look at some of the examples. In this example here, we are providing two arguments to the pat index function. The first argument is the pattern you want to search and the second argument is the expression that you want this pattern to be in. The first argument that is the pattern, you are also including the wildcard characters here and these are optional. If you know the exact pattern you are searching, you can always eliminate the wildcard characters here. When you run this query, you get the starting position of the pattern you are searching for and the pattern you are searching for is ensure and the starting position of this is 8. This is the basic example of pat index function. Let's conclude this video discussing the similarities and differences between char index and pat index functions. Both these functions are used to search the strings. Both of them take two arguments to perform the search. Pat index function uses wildcard characters to search a particular pattern in the string whereas in char index function you will not be able to use wildcard characters. These are the basic similarities and differences between these two functions. Thank you for watching.